Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get and set up the IPTV Smarters app on your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the very first step is, of course, getting the app called Downloader to the Fire Stick. You can get Downloader free of charge, and if you already have it on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have Downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then follow me. So we just get, go to the search bar on the Fire Stick, open it, and start using this search bar to enter the name of the app, which is once again Downloader. So you enter Downloader, and as you can see, it has already popped out for us at the bottom. Let's click on it, and now that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got downloader, it's not over yet, because you still have to set it up. So now, in order to actually set up downloader, you have to go to the settings. So we select that button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it, and now in here, what you have to do is turn on developer options for the Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case, it's gonna say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging. Then the next step is you have to go to install unknown apps, open the section, and from here, what you gotta do now is locate downloader. Should be right here, yep. So locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily on the various apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So now we head straight back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick. Here it is, let's open it. And there you will find the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. So in my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost only a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say you will connect to UK right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with free amounts for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So just go back to the list of apps on your device. Open it up and finally open Downloader on the Fire Stick. 
And now when the loader opens, what you got to do here next is open this search bar right here and start typing in the link, which will be iptvsmarters.com. So let's enter that together. Once again, it's IPTV Smarters. Dot com. So here you go, just enter the link as you see on the screen, click on go and now while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you will get even more content about fire sticks. And now when this website has finally opened for us, you just have to scroll it down until we see the downloads page. So keep scrolling and here is the downloads page. And then there should be the Android version of the app. That's right. So since we are using a Fire Stick, it is an Android based device. And for that, we'll be downloading this APK file. So click on the direct download APK files button. And now in a couple of seconds, the download of the app will start to your device. And now the download has started. It usually doesn't take long, but of course, it all depends on your internet connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection, so that shouldn't take us too long. And then, when the app was downloaded, of course, you also still have to install it to your device. So click on the installation button and just wait until it finishes installing to your device. Usually, it also doesn't take too long. And after that, don't click on Open yet. Instead, press on Done, because this way, you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So just click on delete and delete once again. This way you get rid of the unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much free space available anyway. And now you just have to go back to the list of apps on the Fire TV Stick, open it, and here at the bottom, you will find the IPTV Smarters on your Fire Stick. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the Home button on your remote. So click on it, and a menu will pop out on the right side of your screen. Select Move to Front and click on it. And now, this way, the IPTV Smarters will always be at the very top of your application list. And this way, it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can get 3 months of NordVPN for free if you use the link below this video. And then finally, let's open IPTV Smarters on the Fire Stick. So there you go, we open the app. Then the next step is choosing your device type. It's obviously gonna be TV since we are using a Fire Stick. Click on save, then scroll down and accept the license agreement of the application. And now from here, what you have to do is, it depends on whether your live TV provider gave you an MPU link or an extreme code as different IPTV providers use different types of playlists. So if you were given an extreme code in that option, select this button and here add any name to your playlist and then enter a username, a password and a link, which was given to you by the IPTV provider. And then you click on add a playlist and the playlist will appear in your app. Alternatively, some live TV providers can give you an M3U link instead of extreme code. So if you were given an M3U link, in that case, you have to press the M3U playlist button, click on it, click allow here, and then add any name to your playlist. And after that, either upload it as a file or click on M3U URL and enter the link which was given to you by your service provider. And then you click on add a playlist and the playlist will appear in your app. So today you learned how to set up IPTV Smarters Pro on a Fire Stick, as well as how to make it work. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.